let's say it worked. And you became boyfriend that became husband and I had the babies and named them after planets and we built a house out of straw. You kept your bottle, I kept everything else. We tied our relationship out in the yard with our parents. Two angry dogs that barked day and night. You still hold me like I can break. And I still cry during sex. But it's love, you and I. We are a mess, you and I. Let's say it worked. We got the life that I planned for us. You work all day and I don't write anymore. I don't travel, I raise the kids, I keep my anger, and you keep your drinking, and the dogs bark so loud that I can't hear you. The dogs bark so loud we stop kissing. The dogs bark so loud you start looking like my father and I leave just like your mother. Let's say it worked. We kept each other, but along the way, we ruined everything else. Thank you. <clears throat> How many of you were born in LA and like raised or raised in LA? Yeah. Yeah, in the in the hospital right over here at Children's Hospital. That was for me, that was a rich people hospital growing up. So you you bougie. I my mom had to go all the way to East LA living in Silver Lake. That was an ordeal. And then like I showed up and then a nurse told her that I was never gonna be normal. And then whenever I do weird shit, my mom's just like, I don't know. No, but um, uh, I think that um, somebody sent me a video on on Twitter of a woman that was saying like, "Oh, I'm born in L I was born in LA. Like, I'm an LA native. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome." <laughs> She's like giving a whole spiel. Have you seen that video on Twitter? Oh, I have to send it to you guys. But um, these are these are my best friends right here. So I'm gonna be talking to this section a lot. Um, but you're welcome to like here. Um, <laughs> but she was saying like, "You're welcome." Like like. It was saying like every LA native in a room. And she was like, yes, I'm from LA, welcome, thank you, thank you. Yes, it's an honor, um, yes, yes. And so I'm like, that's what I do when I tell people, like in the Uber when I tell people, I'm like, no, I'm a native. And they're like, oh wow. Or when they drop me off in Silver Lake, they're like, you live here? I'm like, yes, bitch, I live here. <laughs> so then I make them drop me off at the big fancy house across the street. And then when they drive off, then I cross over to my house. <laughs> just so that they think. But being part of LA also means that there's a lot of, um, we share a lot of collective grief a lot when we return to an establishment that's not there anymore and it's owned by somebody new. Um, and we shared a different kind of grief also this, uh, this year when Nipsey passed away. And um, I've never seen my city turn up for somebody like that. I've never seen us come together the way that we came together for Nipsey and it was such a beautiful thing but it was also really isolating to be in parts of the city that nobody gave a shit. You know, I, I'm in WeHo a lot because um, I'm, I'm a member at a workspace over there and so traveling there and then like just seeing how different it is, kind of like the privilege of not caring, you know? And so then when, I, when that happened, I wrote this poem, it's called Marathon. Church the scar, ask how it found him. He says, gunshot, I say nothing and we make love. He walks to the bathroom, small crater on his side, tells me to go back to my home, to my gentrification, fence gardens, quiet streets. A long time ago, bullets often sent me home. Police flashed lights into houses, cars, eyes of boys I loved. I got lucky. We lost the block. It got safe. It got better. Everyone moved away in pickups or handcuffs. They left. My lover is no longer my lover. He finds his way to my street, drunk and determined, come outside. And I don't know what I fear more. What happens when I step outside or what happens if I stay inside? It isn't safe for us to be human here. We argue beneath a street lamp. I feel the whiteness panting against the windows. Nipsey is killed. I text my ex-boyfriend, I love you, please be safe. And my block is quiet. So fucking quiet. Thank you.